we must commend former Governor Lucky Benedion for his giant strides, especially in kick-starting kick the those industrialization. You see, we must give it to him. We, we must give it to him, such as Solid Mineral Processing Company in Ikushi. We have that during Lucky Benedict's time, Solid Mineral Processing Company in Ikushi. We have that. It's still there. If it is run aground, if it, if it has stopped running, we don't know. But during Lucky Benedict, we had Solid Mineral Processing Company. During that period, too, we had Edo Fertilizer and Chemical Plant. Also, in, um, this, is also this is in uh, Auchi. During the Lucky Benedio era, we had a Do State Fruit Juice Company. That, that was in Eho. They are there during this period. Oh, we know the governor failed. No problem. But you cannot write the history of a Do State and not mention these companies. We had Cassava Processing Companies Limited. This was in Iromi. It's still there today. And so we must give it to governor, former governor, Lucky Igbenedio, for, for achieving all those. And so what we expect is that subsequent governments will build on all of these and take them to fruition, to, to, to actualization, and make sure uh, our people are properly and um, uh, they benefit and they are engaged beneficially. The question then would be, are they working, if in existence? The good question, very good question. My answer is this. We cannot deny the fact that Lucky Benidon laid and achieved those feats. We can't, we can't rule that out. We cannot erase history. That was during this period. And so we, we have the, um, the comrade Adam Sushumala's period after the Lucky Benidon. The, the infrastructure sources and other smart policies made uh, under comrade Adam Sushumala's leadership um, that time, it, it was the toast of investors, no doubt, both foreign and local, causing significant industrial growth and development. If you are joining us and you are listening to us on, um, on um, uh, Zoom, hello, Mr. Osayende. Mr. Osayende, are you there? Okay, um, we can see you joining us on Zoom. Mr. Osayende, are you there? Okay, no problem. Um, we will get back to you again and welcome you to the show. Hello, Usainde, are you there? Okay, are you yes, there? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, uh, quickly introduce yourself. Um, we can't see your picture. Um, okay, we'll get back to you immediately. We sort that technical issues out. Answer Okay, you want me to yeah. put on my video? Please, please put on your video. You are live so that um, we, can, um, okay. we can address um, these issues together. And so there was a recent statement um, authored by uh, a Do State government saying, uh, in alignment with uh, Governor Baseki's unrelenting push to diversify the state's economy and uh, attract investment into its productive sector. Uh, it would be commissioning the Dangote fertilizer plant in Okpela following its readiness to commence operation. That statement, um, okay, uh, Mr. Sander, you need to put your phone on landscape so that um, uh, that is the standard practice here on landscape. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so very much, um, Mr. Sander. You, you want to quickly introduce yourself? Currently in the states, yeah. and uh, I'm a public analyst and also an, uh, an patriotic Nigerian. Wonderful. So, what would be your um, initial remarks concerning uh, matters from seniors? Uh, today, uh, we're celebrating Edo State at 30. We're looking at uh, the industrial revolution of Edo State and those who laid the foundation for our industrial um, state. Um, what, what can you say? It is, uh, it is quite, uh, it is an irony in its possibility the fact that while we are looking forward to celebrating a Memorial Day like this, the state governor decided to give us uh, something sour to talk about. And on a day like this, one would have expected us to be counting our gains, appraising the mistakes and all that. 
and then charting the way forward. Now we have seen John back to discussing the statement of the governor and all that, taking away the, the progress we would have made with the topical issues that would have been on ground now with respect to our development. But all the same, I thank you for still trying to uh, bring the balance, adding everything as miscellaneous for the, 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 what was it called? The decree of the governor has been the topic of discussion in which you enter public vehicles, you go to public places. That's what everybody's talking about. Now, now nobody's concentrating on the fact that we are celebrating uh, 30 years. As a matter of fact, it was even Pastor Zayamu's post today when that I saw on social media that I even reminded me that it was actually the great thank, day. Thank you so post. very much. Thank you so very much. I'll get back to you again. Let me pick this call. Um, hello. Hello and uh, good afternoon. Is this the comrade uh, John Mayati show? Yes, very well. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, are we live yet? Yeah, you're live. You're live. Go ahead with your contribution, okay. sir. Oh, beautiful. My name is Comrade Igodan Webwegi. All right. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, uh, um, I don't think uh, we are far fetched from the fact that. Uh, our current uh, governor, uh, Basik, uh, has taken us many years behind uh, civilization. Because as, as it stands now, uh, uh, even Israel, that is the most vaccinated country in the world as of this moment, has not at any point coerced its citizens to take vaccination or be restricted from uh, certain social facilities. So it's, uh, it's really, it's really regrettable to hear the governor make such a comment. And quickly, the easy questions that come to bear are, amongst others, that one, as we speak, because really we do not know who are the, who, who are the governor's advisors. At this moment, there, there are no SC, no SSC, no commissioner, nearly one year after uh, coming to office for the second time. And so we begin to wonder who are those uh, really advising the, the governor. On the other hand, secondly, I meant to say, secondly, uh, is there a, a, a law backing this governor's pronouncement? Or suddenly the pronouncement has become law in itself? Because after the last count, there is only uh, a chairman uh, out of assembly members that only converge within the confines of the governor's office. So we begin to wonder if there was a bill that was read that passed through first, second, third reading, if there was a public hearing to this effect, and on what grounds is the governor making a uh, so to speak, a decree by Shia. So it's, uh, it's really more serious when we further ask a third question to the fact that if the governor is saying that uh, about 25,000 vaccines are available, we uh, uh, compare where you compare it to a ratio uh, of uh, the population that is over 3.5 million. How do you, how do you really just oppose this? So our, uh, our adult citizens are uh, lamenting the current situation, the current economic and social situation in the state, as we speak, with bad road insecurity, uh, uh, darkness, even within the Bini metropolis. And we are talking about coercing Nigerians, adult, adult lives for that matter, to uh, take vaccine that at the experimental stage, we must not forget. At the, at the experimental, as a matter of fact, two basic elements that make up that vaccine are the futures of an unborn child and the nanotechnology. Have, they, have we researched for that to find out how this works in another human being? I mean, the science that taught us that uh, such experiments that are not been proven must be tested, tested using, using guinea pigs. Have we suddenly forgotten that and now we want to test it on human beings? Come on. Thank you so what much. are we going through in Th this thing? Th thank you so very much, sir. And this is high time, sir. Before I think conclusion, sir. It is high time that there's no citizen that takes to the task of not allowing. In fact, we are not obeying any pronouncements from any governor because the government is not above the law in any state or in the country. To not agree to what is being done. I recall very vividly August 20th when the 20 people uh, that 
clients of the 20, 20 people are gathering at that time. Thank you so, so much. So I think uh, those people are very much enlightened and uh, I will go to for the fact that we cannot be taken for granted. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you so very much, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Um, thank you so very much uh, for that call. Um, we still have you over there, um, Mr. Osayende. I'll be back to you again shortly, Mr. Osayende. I'll be back to you again. On the question of uh, doing industrialization, and so the governor was saying, oh, Dangote cement factory was ready in Opila. It was going to commission it very soon. But I want to say, and the fact is that there has never been such a push from the obaseki led uh, government. Never. Let me refresh our memories. I, I remember vividly um, at the 59th birthday uh, celebration of Ali Kodangote in April 2016, uh, together with some, um, with, with the governor, former governor Adam Sushimala, among other high profile guests, they were right there in um, a donut. They all joined together in the cutting of a cake to mark the birthday of. Um, of Dangote and uh, to appreciate him for citing a cement factory in Opila. And so um, there was, um, in that occasion, that was held in uh, Iyamo University, Uzare University, whatever you call it, um, a hall was named after Dangote there, where you have Dangote Hall, just to appreciate Dangote for citing that cement factory in Opila. Now, but the governor is saying no. Uh, because of his industrialization drive, he has been able to do this and do that, including Dangote um, Cement Factory. That is not true. The plant is valued at a billion dollars with a production capacity of um, 6 million metric tons per, per annum. And the, the siting of that project in the state was itself the product of Dangote's cordial relationship with Governor Adamso Shumole at the time and his administration's incredible success in the infrastructural development of the state. Even the harshest critics of Adam Sushomala's tenor agreed that um, his administration heralded um, a, a, a never-before-seen change in infrastructural development. It was truly unprecedented in the history of Edo State. We must give that to uh, Comrade Adam Sushomala. In, um, in addition to Dangote's, over 25 million comp uh, 25 um, other companies um, were also uh, relocated uh, in Edo State, including Dufil, the, the makers of Indomie nodules. We have Boa Industry um, Cement Plant, also in um, Okula. Um, and we have steel and ceramic companies uh, from chi China and several other, other firms poured investment in the state under Adam Sushomale. It was a harvest of investors, investors at the time. All of these took place several months before um, Governor Gordon Obaseki ever dreamt of winning APC's ticket to contest as the governorship candidate, let alone as Zoom office. And so we want to appreciate Adam Sushomle for that. And um, Lucky Benedio, by his um, own admission, by the governor's own admission, his central promise of, 200, of creating 200,000 jobs in his first term ended in failure and uh, excuses. 200,000 jobs. If you even have 20,000 jobs in Edo State, you, you won't be complaining here and there in the state. If you have 5,000 jobs in Edo State, you won't complain. And so, abandoning that for a capricious uh, mega agenda, he has not been able to form a cabinet almost a year into his second term, much less embark on any meaningful project. Desperate for answers, and so the question to answers uh, on his competence, and realizing he looks like it's about time to leave office in the next three years. Obasaki has doubled down on his efforts to see how we can claim um, Adam Sushomole's uh, legacies. Yeah, let me pick this call. I'll be back again. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Your name and where you calling from? Thank you very much, sir. My name is Sonny. Hello, sir. I'm calling from my portrait in the beginning. Thank you. Go ahead with your contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. In fact, when I receive... Uh, the signal that this movie was going to be on. I was very happy that we were going to deal with this matter. And like I said to you last time, I think this is what you this, this is the area we need to concern ourselves with. I know you are going to be busy in the next few months because of your national assignment in Anabra. <laughs> uh, because when I when I saw that they added you, I was not happy, I was angry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, because it seems that you are the only one in Guinea now that are eating money and they have all gone to their share to sit down. I appreciate that. So that you now, you are the you are the only one in the need right now. If you notice, several persons are asking you to discuss several issues that borders on what is going to reduce it. First of all, I'd like to talk about the one that uh, the governor, the party is passing. And uh, I am glad that people who have been calling me have also refused to support them. Uh, even though I'm not in the media, but uh, I have been doing advocacy from 1999, especially with the... Uh, uh, Oshomole led administration. But 
do at the end of the day. Mm. Uh, right now, the situation right now, if you if you were if you were able to listen to especially like a man around town today or listen to Russia Hour yesterday, even Sydney Shocker had to cut some people off because they were telling the governor, you said you want to do this or do this or do that. You are not doing it. So what you should be doing now is to focus on what you are saying you will do. So then I did not already say that the man already has one go for two billion SME. Whereas you are killing an elephant on the ground, you are not able to deal with the elephant. You are going for cocoa or everything. It doesn't make sense because if you look at it right now, what I did, what I'm thinking right now is that at those stage right now, we're especially with the area of construction, it seems that when a location comes, the government shares money for contractor. I may be wrong, but I'm thinking that what is going on right now because if you know this, no work is going on until maybe the winter the middle or the beginning of a new month. The other one, the job is over. And nobody is asking questions, nobody is talking to the man. And nobody is providing a uh, uh, position to say, what you are doing, tell me what is going on. The doctor has not seen. Even the epic center in a place like America or Canada, they are not giving people for a by force. I know it's not been a who refuse to say you need to do Like I said, you are not allowed to work because you refuse to say that. But that was also stop the president of the from keeping out the uh, democracy system that are giving out what kind of power they are giving out the so for the government to come and say what to do this, the market got bought last time. The market was going to big market. It didn't build the market. You know what the people they were thinking? Keep money. And then we're talking about if the man actually goes in the market, people should go to the gold street and see what uh, the door and door boys, they don't put that to accept me. That every every market will be selling without me. The people they pay about two thousand one hundred naira. So if it's truly considered by some people, I don't think they are struggling and they are suffering. I don't care about their house. I don't care about their people. Anybody living in the top state, they are doing teaching. So that's why I talk, I talk only as the, the national, as the national assembly. To change from your sort of heritage to a sort of residence. If you do that, everybody will have a sense of belonging. If you go to legal street now, go to mission, you see people that they are in pain. All the other men are from Indian boys. In the country getting, look at those that are the revenue of state government. You cannot find illegal people that are doing all. What do you say? What do you remove that? They said, oh, Kamaka was the problem. You remove that. Because they have a zero one at Kamaka. So it's the agency that says, don't pay to look at. I'm afraid about that thing. I was taking the party, I took the chance, I took the second one. Not because, not because I believe in it, that I took it. So why would you not be so sick that they will take it? What people are hoping, they still will show the truth that people are very good to have place to pay. People are not paying salary. So the people are not paying salary. They are very much there. And now you're going to come up to the machine. You want to sell the phone and say, the way you said I got out of the way. So don't want to say that I don't want to say that because we are crazy. I think they can see now. What we have is that we didn't make a visit for say that. We will prefer to tell somebody else. Thank you so very much. You are not quite happy at all, I can see. Thank you so very much for, for your contribution. Wonderful contribution. Thank you so very much. And so um, for us on this show, we, we want to say that taking the vaccine is very good for your health. However, we are not in this, on the same page with the governor enforcing it. No. Enforcing it, no. But that... Whatever the governor can do, yeah, I have this call. Let me pick this call. Hello. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. I don't think I'm calling the right number. I just uh, joined the uh, general John Mayaki and I saw this number decide to call and make my contribution. You are live. You are live. The world is hearing you. Go ahead with your contribution, your name, and where you're calling from. Your name and where you're calling from. Okay. Um, it's very unfortunate right now, honestly, that uh, uh, do is coming with us. Yeah, proof. I'm sorry to say. The place I was proud of, very proud of. Calling is calling from the door. Okay, are you watching me live? Sorry, sir. Are you watching me live? Are you watching me live? You need to go far from... Uh, 2007, or rather 2008, um, I need you to go... Hello, sir. I need you to go away from where you are watching me from. Your phone is interfering... Yes, I'm watching you live. I'm live with you. I'm watching. I just joined. I saw the cover that I could take on. I'm still watching. I know you are watching. 
you know, the phone you are calling me with is too close to where you are watching me from. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. So like I was saying, yeah. we know governors that is wonderfully in first tenor, did lead you in second tenor. So what do you expect from a governor that did not win in first tenor? These are not the things we try to make people understand from the concept. I still miss 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 in the state. It was wonderful. I remember very well saying I used to come to Ring Road every evening just to catch phone. I used to move around town every evening just to catch phone. But today, we have left things that matter. I can't say we can see the government because uh, there is, you are proud to associate with something that is successful. So I am not proud to call the government we. The government has left things that matter because of purchase things that don't matter. I am resident in Lagos. Hmm. And if you are talking about population, Lagos is over 20 million compared to it, just 6 million. So Lagos that have post number, post population, have not taken a forcing vaccination on people. I am here and we see how things are being done here. We all measures put in place. Like, how can you imagine a dog being the one forcing people to get vaccinated? Even the extended the compulsory uh, restrictions to banks that people cannot bank. I know very soon they will say they cannot, people cannot go to school if you do not have the card. Very soon they will say you cannot go to uh, a office, meaning they can even fire you if you do not have that card. Is that not what we are talking about? That's purely antichrist. That's purely something. I don't know if the antichrist is going to start his operation from a good place. But honestly, I think everybody should unite in speaking against this. This is what I expect the uh, civil society, in fact, not the victim, individually, everybody is affected, should come out and speak against this. It shouldn't allow to stand because if it does, the negative is how many vaccines were delivered to it? I was reading recently that the person who comes out with deliver to over 50 million, I have forces that we must get some with it. We are not the vaccines, even if we agree to say, okay, let us get some with it. We are the vaccines. So we are trying to put the people into poverty, put them into suffering. Please, I thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Majaki. I thank you for the awareness you are creating. I thank you a lot for what you are doing. I will find out uh, your focus and begin to follow up. We will hear more news from it. Please, let the awareness go around. We have to speak up. We have to talk. And we have to ensure that this evil that is about to go, I mean, uh, let loose, does not allow to turn. Thank you very much. I appreciate this call, sir. Thank you so very much, sir. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Thank you so very much for that call. The caller is saying we must make sure um, the governor doesn't enforce this in Edo State. It should, it should be taken willingly. That is what we stand for on this program. It can't be must. It has to be willingly. If you are willing to take it, fine. If you are not willing, no problem. After all, salvation is personal. Salvation is willingly. If you want to be saved, you are saved. Jesus didn't even come to the world to make salvation compulsory. No. And so... We want to say that um, the governor, um, concerning his um, strategy of spraying propagandist paint on structure, somebody just mentioned just now that you are flagging up under two billion naira uh, SME, whatever for business. Oh, wonderful! We have had several, several instances in the past. The first year of the governor, we heard of it: five billion naira agri loan. During that first year tenor, we heard of um, two billion naira agri loan. We have heard of several loans, several loans, several How many people benefited? How many people? And so he now came back now and said, oh, I brought down Kote to Edo State. Um, I'm going to make sure I commission the cement factory. Mr. Governor, you didn't bring down Kote to Edo State. Comrade Adam Sushomole did, and the credit for it must be given to him. After nearly six years in the saddle, the governor cannot point to any project initiated. Oh, Igbe Nidio failed. But I just uh, mentioned some of those uh, factories and industries um, credited to him. I cannot find one in Edo State. Mr. Governor built it and commissioned it. Oh, he's a quiet working governor. He doesn't commission project. The monument for commissioning can be used to turn another road and with, with this all. I have not heard in Edo State that Mr. Governor bought um, a transformer. A transformer. Uh, it is his policy that it is not the business of his government to buy transformer. But we talk of rural electrification. We'll come to all those. We'll come to all that. Um, the governor is looking for lifeline. Um, 
uh, especially in the past. In the past, he mocked, he mocked and is probing the government of Adam Sushumal. However, he's taking credit for that good cement factory in Okula. Feel free to call in. This program is um, Matters Miscellaneous. We are discussing COVID-19. We are discussing, discussing Edo Aterti. We are discussing industrialization of Edo State. We are discussing how government has failed to the extent that the uh, Edo Central people have now uh, donated money together to set up their own security structure because of incessant kidnapping. There's no doubt Nigerians today now know that Mr. Governor Obaseki reign is a wasted, ambitionless five years. And still counting, and still counting. Quite unfortunate. He comes across on a daily basis, especially on social media with um, repeated blusters here and there, boring speeches here and there. But with no results to show. The lines are there. Feel free to call us and then let us discuss this issue, please. Now, he says COVID-19 vaccination is compulsory in those states. You, without that, you cannot assess the bank. He says without that, you cannot assess the mosque as a Muslim. He says without, oh, there's a caller. Let me pick this call. Hello, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. John Mayaki. Thank you so very much. Your name and where are you calling from? Okay, I called the first one in Redosa is my name from Airport Road. Okay. I want to draw, I want to find out something for you. Maybe you can explain to me better. Okay. Uh, you know, I am not a lawyer. I study public administration. All right. But uh, I have asked some few lawyers because I like to ask. I don't wait for someone to come to the domain before I find out what to say. Mm. That, uh, for example, as a governor of the state or as a local government, because what led me to that was a uh, local government where, where I think at the time, when it came in there, that uh, somebody spent or somebody cannot spend uh, without approval from either the uh, the councillors or from the House of Assembly. So I wanted to find out how much can the government spend uh, yeah. without ESCO and how much can the government spend with his ESCO. Okay. So I realized that issue when uh, he said that uh, uh, Mr. Commissioner and Sushumale paid more than what he was supposed to pay for a contractor when, uh, House of, uh, when uh, the new central hospital was built yeah. and now that uh, and then when there was that argument there was back and forth uh, argument about that uh, someone did not pay more that he, when he brought it to the ESCO they all approved and said because of the urgency that uh, ESCO approved that it was not done by him that was what led to me asking question now having said that I realized that a governor of a state cannot spend anything above a mi uh, hundred million yeah. without the ESCO yes now, the, the, uh, over eight months has passed, now no ESCO. <laughs> Are you saying that, that uh, if you look at, I think I also heard from the street, I mean, the wrong, that the uh, board of uh, internal revenue, I think they have been, their time is over. Yes. Now, who now has all those resources? Who now do, does the oversight function in all those areas? Are you saying that the governor is not the chairman of the board of the... Uh, uh, the board of regent in the uh, board of internal revenue. Yes. How much is in our now? Can there be anybody? Because we have lawyer in the state. Are there no lawyer who should be able to say you can't do this? Like I remember this uh, one lawyer came up that uh, when the issue with uh, about the uh, uh, Pastor Yamu has came up that before you can revoke uh, land, there are processes that you must follow. Mm. You must specify uh, call out a meeting with the owner. Mm. Then you must specify what you want to do with the project. Before you cannot go to the extent world of talking about you want to revoke the land. Now, if you if you are dealing with the issue, I don't know lawyer in the two states now, who can bring the lawyer the government back to to try that no, you don't do things like this, that you are not acting like uh, an emperor. Mm -hmm. Instead of a democratic elected governor. Mm -hmm. I don't know lawyers or then the second way is that who are they are you saying that the law the government does not spend any money at all because anything above it, above a hundred and a million he cannot spend because nobody is there to assist him. Now how long are we going to continue like this? Because he said he was going to give uh, money to he said we're going to do farm. Now you find out that people are being hungry. You will expect that because of the fact that he didn't know. Now we we'll now have enough maids that can go around now. Now you're not talking because he has done that, he said there was going to be light because I noticed. Yes, they went to the Mawai to to start there at around 11. Everywhere was dark. And uh, since the government came into office, uh, all the work that uh, some of them did, they found the city and all that, they are all gone. It's not for you to ask questions. That's the, the point I want to make. Nobody's asking questions. That why is that all on? He said before that he cannot continue to sustain buying diesel. No, you're not buying diesel until you are brought light. Now, you talk about, don't forget the, the refinery in uh, San Pedro de Lugo. Now, in school, uh, area, other people who were going to do that decision will not say that that one cannot even refine the product that 
one more thing that just said that is like a uh, person like the one that the addition for that's what I want to use that report. And you cannot produce more than a thousand liter in a day. Now, if it will create job, by now, we should have said that that would have created job. I did not to ask us in this regard. Everybody just stay quiet because they made a mistake. They don't want to report their mistake. Mm. I think that when they want to make mistakes, they must want to say that I am sorry. I thought that this one would give us better. We didn't know. Yeah. But someone came out and said he was very sorry. Yeah. They said no. Someone was trying to play positive. But all that I want to come and say they are sorry. People like Dalopi, she wants to call. I will call before to go. All of them are quiet. I did not know Dalopi is this again. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Wonderful sir. point. You have made it. Very wonderful, valid points. Now, um, just to buttress what the caller just said, Board of Internal Revenue, their tenure expired about um, four weeks ago, if not three weeks ago. So, the governor now presides over the Board of Internal Revenue as another sole administrator on that board. So, we have epileptic uh, House of Assembly with 10 people out of 24. And somebody say, oh, the case is in court, the matter is in court, oh, the governor, there's nothing he can do about it. It's not true. It's not true. It's, it's certainly not true. Mr. Governor can call. Anyway, we'll, we'll treat that issue next time. The governor is not a sole administrator in the, in the legislature. The, in fact, they sit in government house. They sit in government house. Okay, the Board of Internal Revenue is, is just another point now. The councils are not there. The, the executive member, the commissioners are not there. And everywhere is complete shut down. Like, the, like this caller said, we have, the governor has only 100 million naira he can spend without ESCO. Okay, now you have a budget of about 120 billion, at least I think 130 billion thereabout. Now, if you calculate 100 million, you can spend, only spend 100 million. Are you going to be approving 100 million? on a daily basis, or you approve 100 million um, thrice a day for three months, for six months, for one year. I think we'll, we'll get to that, and we're going to look at the books. We're going to look at it. No problem about that. Keep on, keep on. No problem. We'll look at those books. The budget is running. No problem. So are you saying there's no capital project presently going on because there's no capital project you can run with 100 million? And so without an ESCO, you can't spend more than 100 million. Now, with ESCO, you can spend over 1 billion and, and above. No problem about that. Um, the, the caller made some valid points. You, you, you came in, you said you can't run the zoo. Bini is in total darkness. Complete darkness. The water fountain we used to have, let us see Ring Road. You saw, you saw Ring Road when Adam Toshimula was governor. You saw Ring Road. Clean, serene environment. Where tourists, where a lot of persons... Um, will go and, um, and enjoy themselves. That is uh, uh, Ring Road. That is Ring Road, Benin City. You, you had water fountain, wonderful, colorful wonder, water fountain. Those ones are no more. Oh, the governor said we don't need it. We, um, people don't have water at home. You are putting water in Ring Road. No problem. Where is the water? How many? How many? How, uh, dam is not working. The people around that place can't get water to drink, yet they have a dam. In the constitution, oh, sorry, in the books, in the budget, they have they have a dam, but the, this dam is simply not working. Go to um, Asian land, the dam there is not working. Go to Benin, the dams are not working. People re, people resort to digging borehole for themselves and feeding for themselves. Just recently, we we'll get to that. The Asian people, that is, that is wonderful. Ring road under under Adam Sushomale. Go to Ring road today, you can find this wonderful. You, when it came up, people thought it was America. People thought it was South Africa. Ha, no, no problem. Now, um, because of time, yeah. Oh, sign there. Are you there? Hello. Wonderful, wonderful. Please. What? what? But uh, I've left my previous location, so it's a bit noisy. That's why I don't want to disturb the program. I'm just following. Okay, please um, give us your word again concerning uh, this uh, COVID-19 um, issue. Uh, the COVID-19 issue is actually a distraction, to say the least. Okay. Considering the fact that the records available show that we are able to give less than 80,000 vaccines. Mm. And for the governor to be making a threat that nobody will be given access to public space, uh, places, market, church, and events is, uh, is, is a joke. Because mm. we have uh, over four, uh, 4 million people in the states, and then uh, we have 80,000, 80, less than 80,000 vaccines. Mm. So... 
or how is he going to do that? So he just wants to distract us, so I will not have the time to discuss with your matter. That's just, I don't think it's worth don't you think, our time on anymore. Don't you think he wants us to exhaust what he has on ground so that he can order for more? There is no, there is, there is, you cannot actually completely understand the way, way that, uh, the way in which he looks for money anyway. So that can also be another joker from the side. It might be another, it's not, it's not completely out of place. It's possible. It's possible because, uh, uh, to be honest, uh, COVID-19 has not killed all to, it's not even, you cannot even compare the people that have died from kidnapping in the state and abroad to that of COVID-19. And the government has not made an open statement. Concerning the rate of kidnapping and all that, we have a, an express road in the state, in the major part of the state, that is now completely unused because of fear and all that. What do you think and we can do? What do you think we can do as citizens? What do you think we can do as citizens to support the governor to, to redirect <laughs> governance? What can we do to redirect governance in the state and make sure we get the best out of this administration? As citizens, I think we need to increase our voice. We saw how our voice made me to take action with respect to the Sudan to nation that was planned by the Islamic State the other day. Mm. We saw when everybody stood united across board, irrespective of political affiliation and tribe, the governor was forced to make statements. And then, and uh, so I think if we can also put our differences aside and stand united, we can force him to take action. Thank but you so much. So our persons, those with BSSs and commissioners, people that are still hoping to put their hand in the cookie jar, are trying to, to kill all form of, uh, uh, of of protest or citizenship, uh, 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 how would I put it now, citizenship dissatisfaction. Anyone want to try to express it, all those one are BSSs and this are trying to kill it. But we'll still prevail. Just like what you are doing now, just keep on, keep on it. Other platforms will be utilized to push the governor to act. Thank you so very much. Wonderful. We appreciate, sir. Wonderful. Thank you so very much, um, um, uh, Osayende. He did it. He did it, Osayende. Wonderful comrade. We appreciate you for, for that. Um, but let's just listen to the governor over there. What, uh, what, let's listen to the governor. We, we need to be clear. I think we can assist the governor to perform. I, I, I think some people have also eaten their future. They have, they, people have eaten their future in the sense that, oh, um, they want, some senators want third term. And so they, oh, we are going to support you, Mr. Governor, so that you can give us third term. When that time comes, we are going to discuss that. There are some senators in the, in the waiting who can't do anything now. They, um, they want a third term, and so they want the support of the governor. They have also supported the governor. Nobody can talk. Um, there are some other guys who are supposed to be talking. Oh, they can't talk because, number one, um, there, there's hunger in the land, there's poverty in the land, and so... People don't want to say anything so that um, the opportunity of becoming a commissioner, a special advisor, a, um, a senior special assistant um, will not be jeopardized. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Don't forget, you sold your future during the election. You sold your future during the election. Don't forget. And so you are still keeping mute. And so the future of your next generation, of your, of your children, you are, you, are, you are still jeopardizing that for not saying anything, for not rising up to say, no, Mr. Governor, sorry, you are our son, we love you. But um, sorry, sir, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Mr. Governor, stop this one. Mr. Oh, Mr. Governor, this is good. You can continue on this direction. People, people no, don't want to say that. You collected 5,000. You collected 10,000. You collected 2,000 and 500. You collected a bag of rice. And um, you sold your future. Uh, nobody, don't, again, don't expect too much. Don't expect too much. Sometimes I don't blame people. I don't blame the governor too. Because he bought, he bought, he, he had to buy your conscience so that... Uh, he can do what he's doing, or, or, or if not so, what do you think? What, what do you think? It's quite unfortunate, quite unfortunate. Now, uh, the governor says vaccination is compulsory, good for us. Vaccination is good, we need to keep our society thin, um, safe, so that we can all be healthy. Let us listen to the governor and hear him say something. Week of September, people may not be allowed to worship in churches and mosques without showing proof of their vaccination cards at the gates. Similarly, people will not be allowed to event centers for parties or receptions without showing proof of their vaccination cards at the gates of these occasions. We have made adequate arrangements with security to prevent anybody who does not have a vaccination card from accessing 
any of these events. Also, you will not be allowed to access banking services in Edo State from the middle of September if you have not been vaccinated. If you want to undertake banking services, you will do so remotely from the, your homes. Mr. Governor, um, you said uh, churches and mosques, among other, among other public places, who cannot access. Um, Mr. Governor, I, I don't think that is quite. Um, we are not. We, we can't agree with you. We can't agree with you. Edo people can't agree with you. I understand over 400 persons have signed a petition, and they are going to court to make sure um, they get normalcy replaced in Edo State. Because what we have presently in Edo State is an uh, is a situation of chaos, social social commotion. Um, public places? No, you, you can't do that. Look, these things, like I said, is is uh, okay. There is a caller who, who picked this call. And so, when the governor said people can, citizens cannot access banks, churches, mosques, among other public places, um, I don't think um, it, it is quite, um, it's quite right. We can't, we, can't, we can't believe that. We can't do that. Uh, allow people to do what they want to do. There is already civil compliance already. Voluntary compliance. Let people go about that. Not that, oh, they, they, there's a decree. Yeah, you must do this, you must do that. No. Um, um, we, we can't agree on, on that, Mr. Governor. And so, uh, feel free to call us. The lines are open. The lines are open. Even before working out the logistics of making the vaccines available to those who want to, who want to take them. The governor, I'm not sure he worked out the logistics. And so, the governor is already dreaming of looking up, uh, locking up people and preventing them from participating in normal activities. Uh, people, that is what people are saying. You need to work out the, 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 the logistics. Um, it's proclivity to, to, to withdraw the right of the people and inflict on them violent force at every given opportunity is unmistakably a trait of a sadist dictator. It, it's not the best, Mr. Governor. You, you can't do that. Unfortunately, Mr. Governor neither um, has the zeal or the readiness to, to rain down such terror on criminals. There are criminals everywhere in the, in the two states along the road, uh, the Asian people have come out to say, oh, because, hey, look, let me tell you what has happened in this land. The Atanapa security network they formed, it is a failure. It, it, it's, it's just to tell the governor that, oh, Mr. Governor, you have failed. There is nothing more than that. The, the Asian people just told the governor, I want to commend them. I want to commend the contributors. They donated 2,000, 5,000, 100,000, 1.5, 5, 10 million. Look, these guys... They've tried. They voted in a governor to see that they are secure. They voted in a governor to protect, to, prov to, to, do, to make sure he fulfills his constitutional role. Unfortunately, these guys have got to arrange for their own personal security, for their own senatorial district. I, I tell me the governor takes no less than, no, I, I don't want to say 750 million. I don't want to say 750 million. Let us assume 500 million. Monthly, monthly you take 500 million. I, I don't know. I can't say how much he gives to the police. I do not know. But are you saying, look at what the Asian people have done. They have put in together no less than 50 million, 60 million. And so, are we saying the governor cannot put 50 million together a, month, a monthly basis? I say, I do not, I do central, I do south. 50, 50 million buy vehicles. Look at vehicles. This guy, this is self-help. It is self-help. When you see self-help, it is because the system has collapsed. It is only because governance has failed. Oh, we have security architecture. Good grammar. Oh, they polish, they, 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 they look for, oh, we have Alagodaro. They come up with some magical words, some, some bombastic words. They come up with um, a lot of uh, grammar. If they can't tell you in English language, they translate it in the local parlance, Alagodaro. They, they come, oh, they, they look, look, they... When you leave tomorrow, history will record your achievement. We're telling you, we love you because we need to tell you. Somebody just said, where are the, where are the, the chief Danobis? When Oshimole was governor, he was, he was filing, he was coming up every day. And let me tell you what um, Danobi has done. R wrong or not, Danobi put that government on check and make sure Edo people benefit. In fact, it was a focused government anyway. Very focused. Shumale was very focused. Very focused. But 
what Danobo was doing was also to make sure um, Mr. Governor Adam Sushomila don't lose track. Keep doing what you are doing because the people are watching. That is when you get a democracy. But in a democracy where you have anybody protest against any government policy, the person gets luck. Oh, you, 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 look, the other day people want to protest against land grabbers. I told them, no, it is not about land grabbers. The problem we have in Edo State is collapse of governance. You have a law, a brand new law, fresh from the oven. But this law is ineffective, simply not working. Oh, I'm protesting against her. Her oh, hair can't be more than a, a DPO. That a DPO can handle her hair. You know, there is a law in place. You said this law was signed by 10 of them. You call them lawmakers. No problem. No problem. But sign into law. Let it bite. No, it can't bite. Oh, unfortunately, that is where we are. And so there are no signs that the promised vaccines will be enough to even inoculate all citizens of the state. I agree. But that doesn't say we can't go out and make sure we exhaust what we have before or uh, before before the governor orders from us. No. Like I said, on this show, we are not preaching against vaccination. No, 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 no. But regardless of the intent or desire, many citizens will inevitably be left out. But I know. Yes, I'll pick this call and I'll be back shortly. Hello. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How are you, sir? Your name and where are you calling from? I'm from, from the southwest. Of your southwest. Your name, sir? Yes. Uh, uh, my question to your program is that this one is not to turn the party party with a big country. Do you see? What is what? Hello, sir. Are you Go hearing me? Go ahead, yes. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, you want to know if the vaccines... Let us know. Tell us. Let us know now. We are watching you live. Okay. You want to know if the vaccines can go round? Okay. He wants to know if the vaccines can go round. I think it behoves of government to tell us um, the breakdown for the inoculation. As in, um, if you say everybody must take, have you distributed it across the local government areas? Have you got people that will take it across the Etienne local government? Have you gotten people that will take it across the villages so that um, everybody can, can be reached? Do not sit down in the city center and command people to take vaccine. No. The governor doesn't actually need to announce that it is compulsory. No. Take it to the people. Let them know that there's reason for taking this drug or this vaccine so that they, they need to make up their mind. You need to, you need to uh, convince them to say this vaccine is good, this vaccine can do this. And you need to convince the people. You can't, you, you can't force the people. I think it makes neither legal nor moral sense to inflict punishment on people or withdraw their rights to take part in normal life for not receiving unavailable jobs. It, it doesn't make any sense. This is a conundrum that has um, received no attention from the state government. Uh, instead, the governor conferences, media postures is to issue threats to citizens as if they do not have dignity or as if Edo people don't have a right. That, that is not true. Um, it's good the governor know that scaremongering is not a useful head mobilization strategy. It, it is certainly not. If anything, it also and only hardens resistance and raises suspicion. The governor needs to know. Far more useful is uh, for the state government to engage the people with greater respect. The governor should learn all of this. Forget that the opposition um, is telling you, the, no, take, take example. Um, hear the people's concern. Listen to the people. Call a town hall meeting. Mr. Governor, don't forget. We, we see you in, a, in a occasions with crowded people. In campaigns with crowded people, we see you snapping picture, posting for picture with, in, in a crowd without face mask. Mr. Governor, and you want the people to then obey social distancing. You then want the people to do no. Mr. Governor, you need to lead by example. You, you need to listen to the concerns of the people and address them with 
multiple prong strategies, including the activation of trusted local influencers. That is it. Local influencers can help you achieve what you want to achieve. Opinion makers everywhere can assist you in the communities, in the local government areas, and, and uh, engage them so that they can assist you achieve what you want to achieve. But to a man who only, who, 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 a man who thinks um, with only a hammer, everything is a nail. Just get the hammer, the, the, I can nail anything. It's not going to work. It's a democracy, Mr. God University. Um, Mr. Governor, I also noticed that your disdain for the people and uh, your quest for total unquestioned power explain why every policy is enforced through force and threat. Mr. Governor, you need to change this a democracy. No. Um, your regard, um, you, you, you see yourself, or people see you as an emperor. Uh, somebody mentioned it just now. It's not about um, the Jomaya issue, no. People see you as an emperor and um, the people are mere subjects. No, Mr. Governor, the people are the, are the leader, you are the subject. You are supposed to be the subject, Mr. Governor. No, this is a democracy. However, I, I quite understand that this, is, uh, this issue is not uh, mutually uh, exclusive. Especially now that the virus is glaring, is flaring again because people won't take the vaccines. The government might have to um, enforce lockdown again. That is what we're saying. Guys, if you are there listening to us, try and go for your vaccine and get the jab so that, um, because if we don't get ourselves uh, vaccinated, government may lock down again. So these issues are not uh, mutually exclusive, I, I can tell you that. If one is convinced, if one is convinced that um, uh, the, vi the, the virus is real, of course it's real, not, not if one is convinced, there's no conditional if. The virus is real and the vaccine is potent. If we are convinced that the vaccine is potent, yes. The virus is real. If we are convinced that the vaccine is potent against the virus, it is hard to find a line of criticism against government effort to increase the uptake. Um, in the US and U uh, UK, um, uh, they are also limiting freedom uh, to unvaccinated people, but not also forcing citizens. No, they are not forcing citizens. The lines are still open, feel free to call us. And, and so, um, as those who do not want the vaccine argue that the access to restriction for not taking vaccines amount to violation of their bodily autonomy and um, guaranteed freedom. And so people are likely to go to court to challenge the governor over that. Um, uh, somebody is joining us now. Uh, hello. Hello. Somebody is joining us on um, Zoom. Hello. All right. And, 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 and now the governor... Um, hello. Hello. Okay. And now the governor who has um, drawn Edo State in foreign and local debt has declared that the people should share the thought of local government elections. And like I told you, the, the matter is um, matters miscellaneous. Hello. Hello? Hello? Oh. Um, don't forget that this is a matter of constitutional necessity. Local government election is a matter of constitutional necessity. Oh, great. You, we have um, someone joining us um, live. I will advise you to um, um, place your phone on a landscape. Your phone on landscape. If you can hear me, I need you to place your phone on landscape. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll, do, I'll just do that. Yes. I can hear you. I'll do that. Good. Do that and um, introduce yourself. You are live already. Your phone on landscape. And quickly introduce yourself. All right. Don't forget that this is a matter. Local government election is a constitutional matter necessary for for democratic governance and not held at the covenants of any individual, no matter his position. It is difficult to see that uh, to see the sense behind the governor's position. It is difficult to see. Your phone. Your phone. If you are watching me live on um, Zoom, please put your phone on landscape. When it is landscape, that is um, the standard practice. Um, put it on landscape. Yeah. Okay, it is difficult to see the sense behind the, behind the governor's position. Even with 
the most charitable interpretation. The conduct of local government election affords citizens at the grassroots an opportunity to, to participate in the formation of government at that sphere of government because it is closest to the people, local government. Perhaps it is the finest expression of democracy. But the governor said, no, don't expect that immediately. It deepens the understanding of representation. Local government election and representation deepens the understanding of the representation and the power of the ballot box and, and, and also promotes franchise. Um, I think the governor should look at that and um, it, it is also, it, it's also preserved the legitimacy of leadership positions meant to have the best understanding of local challenges and the dynamics that may prove elusive. The lines are open, feel free to call. Dynamics that are complex for elitists. People like the governor who wall off himself, detach himself from the people and then only remember the roots to far-flung communities, far-flung hamlets and villages during campaigns. It, it, it's, not, uh, it's not democratic. How then? How then? Does are you are you there? Please put your phone, um, your video mood, and um, let it be on landscape. And um, you are you are live. You are live already. I, I think the governor needs to halt this process. Of say we cannot, we cannot have local government election. Um, on the on the account of poor management and outcomes, this totalitarian control in which. Um, he issues order here and there, and nobody can question him. It's condemnable. It's condemnable. Um, he, 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 he has broken down the legislative arm. It remains a partial assembly, as, I'm, as far as we are concerned, in Edo State. And so he has unpicked some, some, some persons deliberately to discuss issues in government house, which he called uh, House of Assembly. I mean an independent and co-equal branch Brobeating and reduced to a gathering of bootlickers. You call them House of Assembly. This is quite wrong. It's condemnable. But if debt prevents elections, let us assume that debts can prevent election or are grounds for disqualification of holding local government election or any election, both federal and state. I don't think the governor himself would have stood for the 2020 election at all. For instance, I will give you a breakdown. Just before September election that returned him uh, into office, the debt man man management office recorded that Edo State external debt had um, risen by nearly $100 million. Before, that was 2020. That is, domestic debts also spike, spike by almost 100%, with about um, $50 billion borrowed. And so the governor is now saying, oh, there's, there are too many debts across the local government. He needs to clear the debts and then local government election. What, 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 type, what type of, what, 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 with, I mean, Nigeria, no country is debt free and they hold election. No country. Okay, yeah, your phone has to be, you're watching me with your phone, it has to be on landscape, landscape. Yeah, landscape, yeah. It has borrowed more. According to, according to report, the governor has borrowed a lot more, according to report, all with nothing to show for, and no clear repayment strategy at all. And so you say, therefore, uh, you are stopping local government election um, because um, uh, the, 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 there are deaths in the councils. And this is in violation of the Constitution, a, a mockery, a complete mockery of the push from activists to, to a, a achieve local government autonomy. Can you imagine? over debt management. You were governor for four years and you controlled these councils for, for how many years? You suspended some. Oh, you said because of fraud. You suspended some because of... And you didn't know that these councils, this, they, they, they are borrowing money and that they are indebted. You didn't know. The governor's hypocrisy is, is now apparent. It's quite apparent. As a uh, calculated move to build a totalitarian regime in the state, um, is regrettable. Its encroachment and violation of rights and laws will continue as long as the people and civil society groups maintain their silence. With every outrageous steps the governor takes, quite unfortunate. I remember during the time of Eshomole, 
Every day is protest upon protest. Protest upon protest. Your wife cooked soup without salt. Oh, Oshomole la wo wo. Oh, Oshomole. They carry placards in government house gate. They carry placards and they go to a television station. They do everything possible to make sure they protest. Of course, I'm happy because that was a listening government. That was a listening administration. I am quite happy to belong to that. Unfortunately, look at guys who, who cannot, who are not bold to say, I am, I am, I am bold, I'm happy, I'm glad I belong to the Obaseki administration. You can't say that. You can't, you can't say that. Anyway, however, one thing the governor and his deputy forgot to do recently is the taking over of a road in Onwa East local government area. There is this um, Onwa East um, road that has collapsed, just like the one in Akukwedo. Um, that road was uh, that is the road over there. That road was said to our uh, Ministry of uh, Federal Ministry of um, Agriculture and Rural Development involved in this shoddy execution. Just as the governor ran to Akukwedo on Lawani Street in Akukwedo, where the deputy governor said, "I was ordered by the governor to come over here and take over this road and surrender the officials and surrender the contractor and the and the member." Who, who facilitated the product project to ESCC to ICPC. I want to call on Mr. Governor to immediately again order the Deputy Governor down to Onwa East. That is the road over there, Ohami Road in Onwa local government area. That is the road. The Ministry showed the handling of Ohami Road is regrettable. Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Rural Development, this is something else you guys have done again. Um, we are calling on the governor to come after you guys again. Um, the contractor and uh, whoever is involved, um, get ready. The governor is coming. The deputy governor is going to take over that job and is going to hand you over, guys, to the EFCC and ICPC. Um, uh, Idede, again, you are, I'll be back to you shortly. Um, um, we, how, how do you describe... Hello, Idede? Hello? Comrade, com Hello, comrade Dede, Hi, thank sir. you, thank you. Okay, um, you are you aware of the comrade Dede? Are you are you there? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll be back to you. I'll be back to you. Um, it was reported that the ministry con constructed um, this uh, failed road just two months after the contractor um, completed the project funded by the federal government. Quite unfortunate. Um, the construction had a title of 4.0 kilometer asphaltic road at uh, Uwaka to Ohami, a uh, state. The signboard is there. You can see that from there. Since what is sourced for the goods is not bad for the Ganda, we call on the governor to again order his deputy to visit the project site and subsequently announce a takeover with funfair. As he's going, he should go with his boys, those that will go with hammer and break the road and... and and jump on the other side of the road, of the, of the drainage, and, and exert some force and use the hammer to break it like you did on Lawani Street. Uh, Mr. Deputy Governor, please, that is another assignment for you. This is a democracy. What is good for the goose is good for the gander. Please try and uh, look at um, that uh, road and uh, get the FCC to petition. In fact, go with the FCC and, um, and the ICPC. Go over there to, to that place. Because you did that on Lawani uh, Street and Nakukwedo, you need to please um, do that. Here. Yes, Mr. Idede, um, don't forget that we we had. Um... Hello, Mr. Idede. Yes, I'm with you. Yes, Idede Osain there. Please tell us again. Um, what do you take? How do you? What is your take on on the arranged? Yes, there's noise around you. Mr. Idede, you are live and there's noise around you. Um, what is your take concerning the security um, arrangement in Edo Central? Please, you need to put up your video. Put up your video, Mr. Idede. Thank you. Hello, please, can you take the question again? Yeah, your video, please. We need your video. You need to be live. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yes. Okay, okay. Now, the um, people of Edo Central have arranged um, their own security outfit. They've donated money together and all of those. 
What is your take about that? Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing considering the fact that uh, we cannot continue to rely on the government, especially when you have a government that is not listening. So I, I, I was privileged to be one of the meetings. I was even surprised that it had even come up earlier, but they were waiting for the governor's permission. And considering the emergency of that fact, it will, it's shameful to uh, agree that the governor even had to wait for almost three months before he gave them that permission. And within that three months, in, uh, in June, July, and August, there are still so many uh, kidnapping, uh, kidnapping situations or kidnapping uh, accidents that happen that would have been prevented if he had allowed these people to flag off this thing earlier. Mm -hmm. And so it's even more painful in the fact that, as the Benins will say, that you that is in the front, you don't want to go forward. You don't behind you, you don't want them to, to go forward. So you are not only holding yourself from moving forward, you are holding those people behind you from going forward. That's the situation we find ourselves in the state. And it's quite critical. And we just also want to believe that uh, the truth is, without the state government, state apparatus, these non state actors cannot be effective. Mm -hmm. For example, these local vigilantes, aside the fact that they are not enough, they don't have the constitutional right to execute uh, once they get these people, they will see hand over them back to the police. Mm -hmm. They will see hand over them back to state actors. Mm -hmm. And that's where we have problems. There have been stories of conspiracies that we have not been able to complete of others, so we can still leave that in the realm of human analysis. But the truth remains that this kidnapping cannot be, you know, we will not have been able to sustain it to this level if some state actors don't have a hand in it. Mm -hmm. So we actually need the government to play the role of the governor. Mm. The government should rise up to the occasion. Mm. And uh, Edo Central alone cannot fight it. Mm. Edo Central is only taking their, they are only trying to be active, considering the fact that one, they are the major culprits mm. because of the places that is prominent now, the Ehor Road mm. and the, that, uh, the Uromi, uh, Onicha Express Road, they are because of course Edo Central mainly. Mm. But that does not mean kidnapping does happen in other places. My brother-in-law, for example, is from Owa, who was kidnapped. And so, even last week, a driver coming from Owa East was also kidnapped. If he had, if he had been uh, released now, I don't know, because the kidnappers were asking for 15 million naira. So it's not, it's not, it's not limited. The problem is not for those central. No, those central are just trying to unite themselves to, to, uh, to build a, 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 a defense other people should rise up to the occasion. Mm. It's pitiful that, it's even more painful that the communities that are able, the major terrain where these kidnappers operate, are not saying anything. They are, for example, and all those allied uh, villages are called, they are not saying anything. One would have expected those ones to be in the forefront with placard mm. at governor's office that, because those kidnappers are in their farms. Mm. So they can't go to farm. So why are they keeping quiet? So it costs, there have been so many stories that they are youth, they are traditional leaders, are involved, but we are still non-state actors. Mm. If the state swim to action, then we cannot it cannot leave the realm of allegation. Because when the state government wants to really act, you know the powers of the state. Mm. Instead of making decrees on COVID-19 that is not killing us, mm. if the state action, if the state government should act, and all those people will be called to book, the policemen will be on their toes, and all those and all whatnot. But uh, we are still where we are. On be that as it may, I want to use the opportunity to also commend the leaders. I saw the list of people that donated. Mm to make the Yesa Atanapa come to fusion. I want to commend their effort. A million naira in this regime is a big money. For mm. somebody to bring out a million naira, two million naira, 10,000 naira, 100,000 naira, for this cause is commendable. Mm. The, as the white people say, prevention is better than cure. If we can prevent this thing, my brother, if they kidnap your family member, the trauma the person will face, the trauma just you yourself will be receiving the cause mm. we face is not something you wish your enemy. Mm. That's just the truth. Some persons have been released and they will still go and die in their house mm. after the trauma. Mm. So it's like the fact that the government is keeping quiet about it, I just don't I don't I don't understand. I don't we just have inhuman the government with an inhuman face. We've lost empathy. Mm. Whether it's because at times I try to create excuse for them that maybe they brought it to their weekend, maybe themselves they are overweight, maybe themselves mm. they are tired. Mm. But if you are tired, you will speak up. Mm. If you are tired and feel it has gone beyond you, then you pass on the party to someone that has the real to carry on. But we know that is alien to 
to Africans and okay. in Nigeria in particular. We okay. better have guy on the seat than to say we don't have yeah. we don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Before you go, sir, before you go for the last time, the last time, uh, have you heard of um, uh, a vigilante guy involved in uh, kidnapping? Have you heard of that? A local vigilante today. The news broke today. I, I saw the headline today. I was I was not too happy at first, although I did not read it. But what came to my mind is that, are you sure they are not trying to discredit these people? Because we saw a viral video that kidnapper, I mean, vigilante group arrested the police officer selling Indian hemp also. Mm -hmm. So I was like, are these people not trying to also discredit? Because now, it's now there is an internal competition of who is more active in the state. Mm -hmm. And people are like, saying something to call police, not better call vigilante group. Mm -hmm. So I believe some persons are also trying to find out, pick out some black or uh, bad eggs among the vigilante and then blow it like the image of the whole. Mm -hmm. So we should still be very careful with how why we try to discipline and, find, and polish this uh, vigilante system, we should try as much as possible not to discredit the whole. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the Nigeria police are suffering today. And uh, we have spent money, billions of naira trying to rebrand it for people to bring back that belief is not working. So we should try as much as possible to guide the vigilante, put check and balances, stop their SSs, and uh, we'll make sure that this one does not fail. But if it fails, my brother, we are into a bigger mess than we have anticipated. Thank you so very much, comrade Idede Osayende. I sincerely appreciate um, your taking your time to appear on this show. Um, we want to appreciate all of you who participated on this show, the callers who contributed, and um, every other person who watching us live across the world. This will be all on today's edition of the John Mayaki Show. Until we come your way again tomorrow, 8 a.m. Um, remember that life is a gift and that every opportunity you live to witness life, every opportunity you need to do something great, you need to do something that will change your destiny, destiny around the people around you, and make sure you impact your society. Be your brother's keeper. Be the police of yourself and your neighbor. Take charge and take care. Bye for now.